boy spray paint back at you another video man y'all know what it is when y'all step in the building we back in these youtube street with another hot segment so hey we got two of them we gonna talk about first we gotta talk about teenage female drill rapper bronx gang leader nate benz being took down in the nypd takedown and we gotta speak on julio fulio mom saying that julio fulio lied about being at 23 grave site that wasn't 23 grave site but y'all know the assignment smash that like button so hey man we gotta talk about it female drill rapper slash gang leader been took down by nypd now like i said bro these females these little young females they different these young girls want to be killers they listening to this drill music they out here slanging iron. Hey, man, y'all better look alive. It's not just the young dude that's out here putting that smoke on people. It's young females, too. Like I said before, a lot of female rappers been getting shot 2024. Rest in peace to Tan the God. I said on my previous video, I said that Stunner Girl just came forward and said she got shot in the chest. And it came out her armpit like... Females been getting in a lot of stuff. And I also said that it's a bunch of female drill rappers coming out of Baton Rouge. You got some coming out of the rack. Man, listen, y'all got to look alive because these same females that's rapping like these young dudes that's rapping this drill stuff, they doing it too. But check this out. This young female was nothing but 18 years old, and they saying that she was the head honcho in her section now. Now they said she the big dog of this game called the Slattery Gang, a group from the, the, the Fordham section of the Bronx, and they've been terrorizing the community, bro. After she, after she did a couple months in juvenile, she just got arrested in the 176th indictment. Now the, they said that the Slattery Gang that she from, they said that they responsible for a dozen of shootings and attempted murders. And they said in some instances, they got receipts of the members caught shooting up playgrounds and in front of school buses with children around. And one incident where it happened, it was a nine-year-old got caught up in the crossfire and called 911 and told them what was going on so that let you know right now that these little kids that was out here these young folks they out here just doing stuff with without thinking like anytime people shooting between school buses around kids and you shooting around playground it's all bad and yes they got it they need to get y'all off the street they got to get y'all off the street because y'all don't got no mind at all. Y'all literally dumb and stupid. And once y'all end up eating all them trays and running through all them calendars while you're locked up, you're going to realize, like, man, I want a child. I won't want nobody to shoot my child. I won't want nobody to be shooting up a playground while my kids out there. See, these little young kids is growing up and they listening to the internet. They listening to the music. That's what's raising them. They're not listening to the parents no more. Because there's no way in hell that an 18 year old young lady, a teen, a baby, is out here terrorizing the community like that. Like, where's the parents? I know the parents can't do it all, but hey, they got a voice. I'm pretty sure if the daddy was present, he probably could get his baby. Like, what's going on? Like, this is all bad, man. 2024, man, is getting more spooky. Because, like I said, you're not, just, you're not only just got to watch out for these young men. These females are creatures also. And whoever little Nate Benz is, you can see, if you was to watch the video, and then as they bringing her out, the, the reporter tried to put the microphone to her mouth and she told the, the reporter SMD said suck her D and it just it just was un all it was unladylike it was disgusting because 
even though whatever her preference is, she like women or whatever, you still got to carry yourself like a lady at the end of the day. And for me doing my observation, Shada was a straight demon. She was a creature. She need to be set down some years to get her mind right. And I already know they ain't going to play with them up there in New York because you can't even have no guns up there in New York, point blank, period. So when these niggas be forming these gangs and they get took down, man, they the judge throw the book at all of them. So I already know with these little young kids right here shooting up playgrounds and shooting between school buses, the judge ain't going to show no love whatsoever. But on to the next, man. We got to talk about it. Julio, Julio mother speaking out on the Say Cheese. Now, y'all can remember I had done did a segment on Julio, Julio mother recently. And I was basically already saying like back in the days that she got shot eight times. You feel me? She got shot eight times in 2018. Now, she said when she got shot, she reached out to a couple of parents in the community to try to get them aware like it's real because she said at one point in time everybody mother was cool everybody was cool you feel me i'm guessing like a lot of these people rappers that's dissing fulio all of them probably went to school or whatever all of them because she said she was popular in school so she probably knew all these females or whatever and once everybody's son became rappers, it divided once the violence started. You feel me? Because like she said, every month another child was was dying. Like it was repeatedly. Kids constantly dying. And she said she could remember at one time it got so bad where Julio Fulio told her like, Mom, I need a gun. Now she she said she tried her best as a mother. She said she didn't respect that drill rap. She don't like it. She always tried to talk to Julio Fulio. You feel me? Now she has a good background. For me doing my research, I think she's an instruct she's an instructor over the CNAs. Like she's in the medical field. So his mom got a head on her shoulder. But like she said, you can give your child a world. They still going to turn around and do what they want to at the end of the day. And she said Julio Fudio, he loved Jacksonville. You feel me? He didn't think about moving and going nowhere else. He loved this city. But in the process of it all, man, it was a living hell down there. Like, I can only imagine how her mental is knowing that she got shot eight times in the Jacksonville war and she just lost her son. Like, it's just, it's it's crazy. And she also said that uh, the When I See You video, she, re she revealed that Julio Fulio was not at 23 gravesite. That was fake. She said they was out of town somewhere else because she said she had done got the call and some people had done told her that Julio Fulio stepping on, stepping your son out there stepping on, on 23 grade. So she just came forward and said that, you know, that was not 23 grade. He was out of town. That's all false news. Everybody, everybody thought that was really 23 grade. But like I said, I commend her because she said that, you know, she didn't, she didn't want Julio Fulio rapping like that. But he said that, you know, mom, look how they talking about you in music. And she she said that these little young dudes, younger nation them, they done dissed her about 10 times. And that's a fact. I can remember when I first started listening to J-Dot. I done heard J-Dot them mention the mama. I done heard Whopper with the chopper. I done heard younger nation, like, these young niggas is crazy, man. Why would you want to diss somebody's mother? I get it. You niggas trying to be disrespectful, demons, creatures, or whatever. But nigga, 
all of that come back and hunt you in the end. You don't get no points from dissing a man mother. She's not beefing with you. This lady is in the medical field. That, that like, it's dumb, bro. Y'all get in the comments, let me know how y'all feel, man. The latch off the door is on the floor today. Y'all know what time it is, bro. I'm gone.